Okay guys, this is another episode of how to detect a sewer gas inside of my home. This uh, poor couple have been struggling for the last couple of years. So we're gonna begin the process and we're gonna show you our uh, four or five step process on how to detect. They're coming from an office, a closet bathroom, and a laundry. So those are three focused areas today. Let's get right into it. All right guys, so the first step in the process is you've got to be able to block off the sewer main because as we're going to show you up on the roof, we're going to be injecting the UV non-toxic smoke through the roof vents. And if you don't block off the sewer main here, then you're not going to get a full concentration of that smoke. So what we've done in this case, because the sewer line, it actually goes down about a foot and then it comes out this way, we don't have access to block it off. So we actually invented this little um, stopper here with some, a bundle of rags and a closet auger just because it's flexible and it allows us the uh, a really great ability to just stop that smoke so we're going to go ahead and do that now all right so now that that's been inserted now we're ready to set up the smoke machine okay guys so this is one of the bathrooms that's been highly affected uh, client has been working at her desk, which is right behind or in front of me, says that there's sewer gases in intermittent. A um, couple things you guys want to look for is toilets. Toilets are a, a uh, huge proponent of sewer gases. Uh, they've already replaced the wax seal. They've caulked around it. So the toilet is not the issue. And if it is, we're going to be able to determine that during the smoke test. I'm suspecting it's going to be the shower. Um, you can see the client has uh, taped it off because of the gases. Uh, we're going to remove that for the smoke test and um, we're going to show you what that looks like next. Okay guys, when it comes to sewer odor, it's very important to properly inject the smoke utilizing the roof vents like this. Um, once you start seeing the smoke coming out through all the other vents, that's a good indication that you're starting to begin to fill up the system. And you'll see here in just a moment where when we start to get smoke coming through, we start capping those vents off. Once everything's been uh, capped off, then we go down inside the interior portion and we're gonna look and see if there's any smoke coming out from walls, electrical sockets, uh, bathroom fixtures, toilets, things like that. Those are the signs that there's sewer gases coming through. Okay guys, so as you can see, here's our UV non-toxic smoke. It's amazing, doesn't uh, cause any damage inside of a home, unlike a candle. Now, the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna be able to inject the smoke where the uh, areas are. So we're actually above the laundry, so we're gonna go ahead and introduce the smoke through the roof vent now. So we're gonna give this a few minutes and um, we'll start to see some smoke coming out of the other vents. That's an indicator that the sewer drain system is filling up, at which time we'll start to cap off each vent. Once that's capped off, then we're gonna go inside the house and see where, if any, smoke is coming out. All right, guys, so they've already hired two other plumbers to come out and try to detect this. And I think they weren't very confident in their smoke test. So I th today I think we're gonna get to the bottom of it. Our UV non-toxic smoke machine does an amazing job with injecting a very aggressive smoke, which is great, is non-toxic, especially to a home like this. You use those smoke candles, they come into the indoor air and it causes a secondary damage, which you don't want. Yes, it might be a cheaper alternative, but we've seen some massive destruction to fabrics, walls, uh, paintings. You definitely don't want to introduce candles inside of a home. The other area, you guys, is this laundry area. We think it's going to be this floor drain. So we'll show you that. If we get smoke coming up, we're going to know that this is definitely going to be an issue. And the third area is this bathroom. So we, again, suspect this shower to be another issue. Okay guys, we are very successful in detecting the exact sources. This shower, the laundry, which has a, a tap primer that is not working properly. The other shower 
is also an issue. So we're going to open up the ceilings and see exactly what's going on because there was definitely some pr improper plumbing insulation. Here's our first issue here. We're getting smoke. That represents sewer gases for sure. Master closet uh, shower. Heavy, heavy smoke as well. Okay, we're getting smoke in this shower. Really, really bad. Again, represents sewer gas. Okay guys, a lot of people will ask, uh, what does sewer odor detection cost? And that's a great question. And uh, it really is going to depend on type of crawl space, type of plumbing system you have, roof, is it two story, three story? Is it condo, townhouse? Uh, is it a two bath house? Is it a seven bath house? So all of that really dictates the price, but we've done them as low as $550, but we've also done them as high as $5,800. Now, if it's ABS piping, guys, a lot of times people say, okay, does that include the repairs, twins? Well, it can. It really just depends on where the breach is and what type of repair it is. All right, guys, and how long does sewer odor detection take? Well, that can vary depending on the degree of where the breach is, um, how difficult the accesses are, but you know, relatively speaking, you're probably looking at about an hour to four hours from, you know, setup time to taping things off, running cameras, things of that sort. So I'd say one to four hours. All right, guys. Well, another successful sewer odor detection video. Hopefully this helped you. Please leave your comments down below. Hit the subscribe button. See you on the next one.